Hi, you have reached the podcast of Professor Haim Show. In this episode, Black Holes and Near-Death Experience, a one-way flow of information. Black Holes and Near-Death Experience, NDE, a one-way flow of information. Black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot escape. According to NASA, there are three different types of black holes, tiny, stellar, or supermassive. Scientists have found proof that every large galaxy contains a supermassive black hole at its center. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is called Sagittarius A. It has a mass equal to about 4 million suns and would fit inside a very large ball that could hold a few million Earths. Near-death experience NDE is a testimony delivered by individuals who have biologically died, however have been resuscitated to normal life. NDE testimony delivers the experience an individual went through while the medical team struggled to return that individual to life. NDE is well documented for many years. An example of a recent report of NDE, one of many, is by Shaman Oates from January 2022. Find details in a post with title similar to this podcast at hiamshore.blog. There are several features shared by most NDE testimonies, like flying through a black tunnel, total life review, and others. A basic condition of human life on planet Earth is our total ignorance of where we have come from, or where do we go after we die, if indeed the soul survives the body. This basic life condition represents to us a unique experience of a one-way flow of information. We are aware of information we produce while we live or information we are exposed to. Yet, we are blocked from any information beyond our lifespan, namely, pre-birth or post-death. A similar statement of our basic human condition may be traced to the first verse of Genesis. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. We know much about the earth, the universe, yet we know nothing about the heaven. Indeed, the Bible does not describe the nature of the heaven, neither does it explicitly refer to it, except for the first verse of Genesis anywhere else in the Jewish Bible. A sole exception is a verse which may be interpreted as describing a hidden two-way communication between humankind and the heaven. Find details at hiamshore.blog in a post titled The Basic Human Condition Angels of God Ascending and Descending. These four types of experience or source of knowledge accessible to us all, testify to the most fundamental of our human condition on planet Earth. 1. Total ignorance of where we came from, pre-birth, and where do we go from here, post-death, if at all. 2. Deafening silence, lack of explicit communication, on behalf of the other side. 3. Supportive testimonies of individuals, NDE, explicitly stating that to preserve free will, while shaping our life experience, we are not amenable to glimpses of the other side. Except, occasionally, via NDE or messages delivered by uniquely gifted mediums, spiritualists. For total lack of knowledge of the heaven, the existence of which is explicitly stated in the first verse of Genesis. There is one commonality shared by all four, one-way flow of information. Information of what play out here, on Earth, is known and exposed to the other side, as revealed by NDE reports.
Yet, we do not receive explicit communication from the other side, barring the possibility of a dual-way mode of communication. These features of our personal experience as human beings, living on planet Earth, share a surprising commonality with the most basic property of black holes, absorbing from the physical universe as we know it, but never leaking back information in the form of matter, energy or any other conceivable form of information like dark energy. This stunning similarity between the physical properties of black holes, the one-way flow of information, and the most fundamental condition experienced by us on planet Earth, as expounded earlier, this similarity naturally begs the question. Do black holes form one-way exit avenues? Which our souls are doomed to pass through? After we die? Thank you for listening. Until the next episode, goodbye.